Hello everyone, welcome to another vlog. Um, as I said in my previous vlog, I wanted to do a vlog showing you guys what my top five things are that I definitely think you should be packing in your bag if you're going to a snorkeling destination, a beach destination or some sort of island destination. These top five things are purely based on mine and Brad's personal experiences in both Greece and the Maldives. Um, Greece we did in 2018, like I mentioned in my previous vlog, and Maldives we did last year. If you haven't seen my previous vlog or are new to my channel, um, firstly welcome. I will link my previous vlog down below so you guys can go watch that if you want to or want to catch up on what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, without going on again too much, um, I'm going to get started. Alright, so firstly... Um, what I feel is my number one thing to pack when I'm going on a snorkeling or beach or island destination um, kind of trip. I feel that this, I'm going to take it out now to show you guys, um, this snorkeling mask is definitely um, a must if you're going to any one of those kind of destinations. You don't have to have this one. I do have another one as well. Um, it's just a plain um, snorkeling mask and snorkel. Um, what I like about this one, Brad actually bought these for us before we went to the Maldives. Um, because when we were in Greece, I feel like it was our first overseas trip together. And obviously, I had planned a lot of it myself. Brad also planned with me. Um, but, you know, it's your first overseas trip that you planned and you're on your own and all these things. Um, so we didn't really, I would say prepare or prep ourselves properly so we got to Greece without a snorkel or anything like that and I mean we ended up having to buy one there we just bought one and we shared it um, throughout the trip which isn't always nice because if you do want to snorkel together you you know one's using it and then the other one has to wait or whatever the situation is um, so Brad found these amazing um, snorkeling masks for us it comes with this you just click it on and then it goes over your face like this it's got this little strap that goes obviously at the back of your head it's super comfortable and you know it's not the two things so like you've got it on your face and you can just breathe normally you don't have to breathe through the um snorkel that's not attached to you know like the one that comes with the mask and just the snorkel on its own um i think i have it somewhere i'll have a look for it now um so yeah this would definitely be my number one recommendation um purely because like when you're snorkeling you don't want to miss out like we only bought the snorkel we went to Mykonos Santorini and Kefalonia those three in Santorini we ended up buying the snorkel um just at like a little local shop and um, we didn't really see much in Santorini. Um, we didn't do a hell of a lot of snorkeling. We only had three days there. So um, we did one full day at the beach. And I mean, we didn't really see many fish or anything like that. But then when we got to Kefalonia, we saw the most amazing fish. And I'm so grateful that we actually ended up buying it there. But like I said, we obviously, you know, it was our first overseas trip. So we didn't plan properly. Um, but a snorkel or something like this is definitely my number one recommendation when you are going on some kind of island trip like we've we went on to Greece and the Maldives like I said so yes this would be my number one I'm not sure where Brad got this from um, I'll ask him and I'll link it down below but this is definitely recommendation number one okay so I actually found this one just to show you for an example um, this is the one we bought in Greece and like I said, I mean, it works perfectly fine if you end up wanting to get one of these snorkels for yourself. I mean, I think it is a lot cheaper than um, getting yourself one of these. Um, it works perfectly fine. Just like I said, it's two separate things. Um, so you have to breathe through your mouth using this. And then obviously um, it has the separate goggles. Whereas this one, you just put it over your face and you can breathe normally the whole time because... Um, yeah, it like sucks onto your face and obviously it works through this thing. So no need to breathe through your mouth, which is why I love this one and would recommend this one. 
Okay, so the second most important thing to me to have in my luggage when I'm going on a kind of trip like that, um, where it involves snorkeling and all those kind of things, um, Brad and I love to snorkel. So um, obviously this would definitely be my number two, just to, you know, record our footage underwater and add it to our videos, which I think is really amazing. And obviously we can show people um, what we've recorded. Um, my number one reason I'm saying this is because, for example, when we were in the Maldives, um, you obviously can swim. We stayed in an overwater villa. So basically your villa is in the sea and you can just climb down your steps and snorkel anytime you want. Obviously, they don't recommend you snorkel at night because you can't see a damn thing. Um, but yeah, it is just the most amazing experience. Um, yeah, I would love to do it again someday. Um, and the reason I'm saying this is because we actually got to swim and snorkel with um, black tip sharks. They are not dangerous sharks at all. They don't bite. They're actually quite scared when you swim near them. And, you know, I was quite scared in the beginning to get in the water with them. You know, it's a shark at the end of the day. Um, but it was a really cool experience. And I actually followed a shark and recorded it on my underwater camera. So this is my number two item that I think you should have in your luggage. Um, you can record your um, viewings that you see. We saw in um, Greece, we saw beautiful fish, um, mainly just fish. Um, the locals, they say they don't have sharks, which I'm not 100% sure, I believe. But yeah, they say they don't have sharks. So we weren't scared about that at all. But like I said, in the Maldives, we I actually swam literally up close and personal with a black tip shark and i just it was honestly one of the most incredible experiences i've ever had in my life um and second to that we swam with um stingrays um which was also very scary i literally got right on top of one of the stingrays um that i recorded which i'll put some footage in here so you guys can see um, but yeah, that was really incredible. And third was a starfish. Um, I saw and recorded a little starfish just like hanging out on the rock. It was so incredible. Um, so, you know, these are the type of things that you can get to record and keep as footage if you have one of these on your um, island snorkeling kind of travels. Um, I like to have this on as well. It's like a little floaty. So in case... You know your camera drops or whatever it it like floats up to the top um it, although it's heavy it's kind of like um those wings for like children that you put on that's kind of like this for the camera um yeah so i have one of these and these and then i just like to keep it in a little case it's just a little glasses case just to keep it safe so that it doesn't get scratched um so this is number two Okay, so item number three that I feel is actually very important to have in your luggage if you are, you know, going on one of those destinations again is some, I don't know what exactly you call them, but Brad and I call them ocean shoes. Um, they've got these like um, little spiky things at the bottom. Um, they've got straps so it's easy to put on your feet and it stays on when you're swimming um, Yeah, so these are Brad's Brad's ocean shoes. I'm not a hundred percent sure what you call them And like I said just now guys, I don't think Brad and I Like knew exactly what to expect when we got to Greece um, So when we were in Kefalonia, I actually stood in a sea urchin. It's one of those black I don't know exactly what they are, but they've got like spiky points 
and I stood in one and that was actually before we had these so what happened was I stood in it my foot went extremely numb and it was actually really sore after a while and Brad kind of dragged me to the local little bar there they sat me down they threw some alcohol on it and they had these massive tweezers they had to sit and pull all the black spiky pieces out of my foot and I was left with the rest of the trip with the massive hole in my foot like all the skin was obviously missing around it so straight from that beach we went to this also like a little local um, Greek shop there and we bought ourselves these shoes um, because we were terrified to stand in something else again in Mykonos Brad actually also got stung by something um, uh, at Paradise Beach um, so uh, yeah we just were like no we can't uh, afford to stand in anything more or get injured or anything so we bought those and another reason we actually bought them was because if you've been to Greece or you're planning to go to Greece and may not know a lot a lot of the beaches are not sand they are little pebbles or rocks or stones and it hurts like hell when you walk on them with your feet um, so that actually saved us a lot of aches and pains because we would actually end up walking down to the beach in these as well that's why you can see brads are quite worn a lot of the um little spiky things are already missing um but yeah we ended up buying these as well in greece um because of my little experience standing in a sea urchin so yes number three is definitely get yourself a pair of ocean shoes or sea shoes like I said, I'm not sure what their real name is, but yeah, that's what we've been calling them ever since Greece. And we took them to the Maldives as well. Um, and thank goodness we did, because although it's very sandy there, um, swimming further out to the other water villas um, in the sea, obviously, there was a lot of coral and rocks and bumpy things. So if you need to stand down at some point while you're snorkeling, um, it's just a great thing to have in order to avoid any injuries at all during your trip. Item number four, um, it's not a must pack in your luggage, but it's definitely a luxury to have on your trip. Um, we were actually blessed enough to get this uh, as a gift um, before we left for the Maldives from my mom. Brad and I each got our own. Um, it is a Lilo. However, only the sides get blown up. And this piece, um, obviously the water like comes in because you can see it's got all these holes. So basically it's amazing because it gets so hot there. Greece or the Maldives or I suppose any um, island trip similar to that will get just as hot as these two did so basically what happens is you blow the side up and you lay in the water in this net so you are floating but the water comes into the net so you are permanently um, cooled down which is really nice um, about this lilo um, to take on your trip i don't think it has any oh yeah it does kind of have this cushion piece at the top so you blow the side and the cushion up and then your head rests on this cushion while you are floating and relaxing and sipping on your cocktail. Um, so this is definitely, it's not a must like I said, but it's definitely a luxury to take along with you on those kind of trips. Um, because like I said, if you at all like Brad and I, we love spending our time in the water. We are both water babies. We love to snorkel. Um, we love to just be in the ocean um, we were also lucky enough in the Maldives to have a jacuzzi so we spent a lot of time in that as well but like I said it was really hot so majority of our time was spent in the sea which is actually really warm as well um Greece and the Maldives the water was super warm so it's not like you freeze when you get in the water and you know it's just perfect the perfect temperature um, so that's item number four. Like I said, not a must must, but it's definitely like a luxury to take along with you on your trip. I'm not also sure where my mom got that from, um, but I have a feeling it's macro, macro or maybe the crazy store. Not 100% sure. If I, you know, if I get a chance to ask her today, um, I will also link it down below. As you can see, I'm already wearing item number five. Um... I know it might seem a bit silly to add this as one of my top five things to pack. 
however sometimes you you know you're packing and you're so excited and you've got all your clothes and you totally forget to pack a pair of sunglasses um so definitely a pair of sunglasses like a good pair of sunglasses i usually pack about three to four pairs of sunglasses when i go on a trip just because certain sunglasses are matched to certain outfits and i know that might seem ridiculous but yeah that's what i love to do i love to match my sunglasses to my outfit so like for example these would go perfectly with the outfit that i'm wearing today um i've got millions of pairs of sunglasses i love sunglasses um so definitely three to four i pack just because i like to match my sunglasses to my outfits and yeah i mean in um greece we were on the quad bike a lot of the time and obviously it's really hot and the sun shines in your eyes and then you can't see a, a thing so definitely a pair of good sunglasses okay so i know this video was about the top five things i think that you should pack or have in your luggage when you are going to that kind of destination i feel like i should just add one last thing um just in case um we always pack a extra towel a beach or swimming towel when we go to any such destination um even though you may stay in a hotel or you know they provide you with towels they don't always provide you with swimming towels it's usually bath or shower towels and not swimming towels so to avoid extra costs like what brad and i had in greece um definitely just pack yourself a little extra swimming towel um just it's easy just fold it in your bag um maybe underneath all your clothes or before you even put any clothes in or maybe between your shoes and your clothes um it's just in case you know your hotel doesn't provide you with um, a swimming towel because sometimes the description when you're booking doesn't isn't so specific about that um so yeah just so that you can dry yourself or lay on it or whatever you'd like to do with it on the beach or wherever you may go even if it's just at the pool at your hotel if your hotel has a pool um item number six which is just an extra to this video is definitely pack yourself a swimming towel it's um definitely worth it okay guys um that is all for today's vlog i really hope that you all enjoyed it and yeah just that i could help you a little bit with what you know are important things that i think should go in your bag in case you are going on a trip like that like i said to an island or a beach or a, anything to do with that um yeah i just feel these items really helped us when we went to the maldives because you know we obviously learned from our greece experiences and didn't want the same thing to happen there where we ended up having to buy things um which were obviously extra costs so if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more from me and from our channel then please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe um yeah then you guys can just automatically see new videos or new content that i post thank you so much